Yeah. Hold on, I'm well, I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get the stream stuff up. That's what I'm doing right now. Mm. I kill myself. Yeah, oh, that's what Moose meant by. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. What? What happened? Uh, Moose was like, "Hey, after War Room, should we write up like a sit rep User for your channel timed out for all the Zeuses and stuff?" And I was like, "I don't know what you mean by that, but if it makes our life easier, go." Oh for yeah, you're talking about in the briefs, right? Yeah, I didn't know if he meant for the briefs or for something on the archive, so I was like, I I trust you know what you're saying, Moose. <laughs> okay, what did you need me to do? Are you able to copy and paste my Twitch? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, oh okay. why? What do you need? Can you set up some barriers and grade between the casual base and Oh. I don't have the numbers with me, though. I'll do the numbers on the account. Are we good to join? Yeah. Got it. Let me sticky. Charge your, uh... Yeah. <laughs> fucking schlabby. I fucking hate this community. <laughs> why- why is it so- why is the light so vivid?
muting the stream. I'm muting. You've been streaming this whole time. It, yeah, but it's been deafened. I hope. Uh, it has. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> trust me. Uh. Does anybody hear any uh, sky falling animations in the room? No. No. Yeah, that's good. I think this is like the first time since like September I've streamed. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Did they get removed or inactivity on Twitch? Probably. That's why they logged me out of my account. I was trying to find your stream, so I just searched Legacy and it keeps showing me Hogwarts uh, fucking clips. Yeah, right. How does it feel to be trending less than Hogwarts Legacy? Good. I've also just reposted the. Objective list for anyone you guys who don't been cut. playing Hogwarts Legacy. I've been playing Hogwarts Legion all in. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the DLC. <laughs> not supposed to. You're not hey, supposed to drop DLC that yet. That Five dollars. <laughs> ah, don't even get to hear that shit anymore. Yeah, let me know when I'm good to start. Yeah, you're you probably this finished. Yeah, you're probably good to start now. Okay, apologies if I'm a bit rusty, but we'll get this over quickly. Um, welcome uh, back to Lucaro. This is part two. Um, with the initial assault on Lucaro over, and the first day we're firmly under our control, Seven Sky Core is once again providing intelligence for retasking. With the intel collected by Spiral Platoon, Rhaegon Fenris, the head scientist of the Durasteel project, um, has last been seen being moved to another region of Lucaro. Cobalt Company, part of the 442nd, has been assisting in our operations using the rescue of forces at the research center. And with their expertise, we reactivated and garrisoned the Republic defenses in the first region of Lakara. With our back secured and our forces well rested, we will move on to the next region of Lakara and try and find Raygon Fenris. Cobalt's forces were sent ahead of our own uh, with the assistance of one of our own ships, the Cenotaph. Um, with the aim to establish a front with garrisons to aid in our invasion. Are there any questions about the sit rep? Okay, that's what I'd like to hear. Um, Cobalt Company managed to establish their frontline fobs and to continue the map, but the GIS presence is very strong in this region. Um, they are requesting immediate aid because all of their fobs are under assault. We are tasked with pushing the GIS back to protect the Fobs and with the aid of Cobalt Company securing Bragg on Fenris. Secondary objectives are to find all relevant information on burning orchids in the GIS secret research uh, project, um, but also due to the damage in the vast region and the loss of life, um, the local population have begun joining the rebels in greater numbers. These rebels have been hindering Cobalt Company and will continue to hinder us in our operation. Are there any more questions about the current objectives or the SIDREP? Okay, nice and smooth. Uh, I'm just going to go over some reminders because it's been a while since we've done this. I want to remind anyone who doesn't remember that their IRL time doesn't take presence over campaign time. This is to prevent platoons that start earlier in the week from deploying ahead of platoons that start later in the week. Um, you will be picking the times you'll be going, so not everything is linked in IRL time. This means objectives that you take or do not take will not have an effect until the following week. I'll also go over the restricted assets. Uh, due to the activator not being currently landed, they're still hovering. Um, all fixed wing assets are currently unavailable. Um, for Phantom, all super heavy assets are unavailable. JT. And for Revenant, all large artillery and walker assets are currently unavailable. What was the exception there for Phantom? Oh, you can't for it. The AT heavy. AT. Do you mean the ATTE? Yeah, the TE. Do you not to use the ATTE -AT anymore? No, oh, JT's no. gone now. That's awkward. Yeah, okay, moving on to the troops and reserves. Um, as I stated in the first part of our first invasion of Lakaro, um, we only started with a pot of 850 reserves. Uh, luckily, we didn't take much of a hit in the last uh, AO, um, so we currently have, let me look at the map again, 682 reserves. Um, we can uh, get these back, um, but 
that the objective list, some of the objectives will provide the reserves, but that is all we have at the moment. Um, same as last time, the maximum amount of reserves you can deploy during the chapter is 300, so we don't uh, run out of reserves too quickly. Um, and if reserves are depleted for an operation, then it is advised to RTB and Endex, so it is up to the platoon com commander to continue. If reserves are depleted for an episode, then it will come to an end, and the effects determined will be based on the progression of the objectives. Moving on from reserves versus casualties, casualties will occur during operations, as happened in the last part of Vakara. Um, currently mark the last casualties on the map. All unused reserves will be thrown back into the reserve pool, and in the following week, which we'll be doing shortly, and we'll roll a d20 to see how many casualties actually become fatalities and who will be added back. On that note, User um, in your channel map, timed we out. currently suffered 143 um, last chapter, so we're going to roll and see how many actually User recover. entered your channel. Do you have the d20 open, like I say? Oh, uh -huh. yeah, I know. Hold on. Okay. Yes, now I have it open. Yeah, give us a roll. <laughs> Alright, you guys aren't gonna like the outcome, but it was a one. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> oh, shit. Somebody fire a moose. A one? Yeah, uh, someone can do the pause for me. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna force the Debbie to do it. Um, that means 70% of that number have become fatalities. So if Levy wants to sort that out, that means 70% of the 143 have died. It's fucking tragic. And then the rest will be added to the reserve pool. Medic has to get retrained. Please, well, please, I blame this. It's 100. Little... They probably used too much more. Of course died. you blame me. So 43 get sorted back into the pool, right? Yes. Yes. Fuck. Well, I put it on the. It's not, I mean, we still have a ton, though. And then I'll take the rest from all one. To be fair, that was like the worst roll we've ever done all campaign. So, yeah, of course, like, like, like I see, I'm taking your dice call off you. <laughs> <laughs> and to finish my spiel for the introduction, I just want to remind you from Vicaro, we introduced a new FSG group to add to the detachments we can use. It is six clone troopers who can execute fire missions or deploy commands. Um, this can damage garrisons, help pin push the objectives, create holes in walls, destroy emplacements, etc., etc. I want to remind you guys that that is a option for later on if you want to click it. The only limitation is it cannot be utilized until the gravestone lands. Any questions about any of the rulings? So we only have the one times FSG group. Uh, we, we're gonna pre-pick the assets of what we oh. pick, just like last time. Okay. There aren't any other questions, I'll move on to that part. Okay, um, it's up to you guys now what you want to do with your planning. Um, all the objectives have been sent to you, and the effects are in that list. Uh, once you guys pick what you want to do, I will also remind you that you have available assets you can pick. You can do a defensive option, which is an ARF team and an engineer team, an offensive option, which is an ARF team and an FSG, or an intelligence option, which is two ARF teams. And that's everything I think I need to cover, so the rest is up to you guys to plan. Uh, I have a question, though, on the FOBs. Uh, objectives. So one, actually, kind of multifaceted. Uh, the 442nd is garrisoned at these fobs, right? Or is it 212th? Okay. The blue four markers are currently garrisoned by Cobalt Company. Okay. Uh, they and then. Threat, however. Gotcha. So currently, they're all under siege right now, basically. And then uh, another question on that is, if we kind of break the siege of these fobs, are we allowed to spawn and deploy from those fobs in further weeks, or do we have to make our own fobs? How does that work? As long as fobs are alive and not destroyed by the CIS, we are allowed to use them as spawns. Okay. Good.
So I guess we're just gonna... deployment, however, that is not an option as they are under assault. Right. If we were to liberate it as part of our objectives, could we then use it in the field for that op as a secondary spawn? Oh yeah, of course. If you guys go and help them out, then it will count as a pod that you can use. It will come with all of the resupplies and the spawn if uh, you guys have actually protected. All right. So I guess we should decide which landing zone we want to take, or plural, takes. Oh no, Charge is trying to cook. Yeah. I mean, if we took the middle one, we could, we would have access to pretty much, like, uh, at least an equal distance. I bet the middle one's wider. On the, the top? Oh. Yeah. The one on the far, the one on the east echo is not viable because of the missile battery. The one on the far west, the terrain is awful. The one in the middle is, uh, like I said, outside the missile battery. Terrain's not shit, and it's actually quite close yeah. to the airfield and another FOB as well. So that's yeah, like all those roads too. Yeah. Like... So what about these two? This like another platoon going in. I'm just yeah, taking I think out that this platoon could hit those two. Well. Have the one platoon take the landing site and fob cobalt, one handle fob emerald and the row of village, and then another handle that other missile battery and fob obsidian. Wraith was there on the west side last time, and we're happy to do the west missile battery and obsidian again. We know that terrain. Yeah, I'm happy to do the other missile battery and FOB berries. All right. Uh. I was you want... say, Shadow would probably be good for that uh, LZ. It's like yep. mostly flat, and the roads keep us connected. Otherwise... Well, there's also this airfield too that you guys would be pretty effective on. Yeah, I'm just kind of thinking we could, from the gravestone, we could drop like near L Villian, and then just move that way. Um, also accounting for secondary objectives, assuming they're in like. Let me just make a shitty little circle. That could be a little bit more annoying for them in that that town there next to the airfield, but yeah, that is kind of tight. Assuming yeah. that we do get like secondary objectives, if they're anywhere like around here in the green circles, then we can just like you know keep it all centralized and move. Yeah, then Shade can take the Royal Village and FOB Emerald. That's the full viable AO. A a a right. Yeah, I like that. I like all that. Probably the fastest plan I've seen so far. Yeah, makes the most sense, to be honest. Like I said, you, you decide everything for shade. I need to go AFK. <laughs> yeah, waffle time. No, no, not quite. Uh, what, I guess, uh, what assets did you guys want to bring? Like, which package? I reckon we do the defensive one for the landing zone. I reckon we bring Mystic and, uh, the art team. Would be a good time to bust out the... Uh, oh, I was going to say, personally, I like the Intel one. What is just, Intel um, do again? Yeah, just go over that again for me. Uh, so the Intel team is, or the Intel option is two ARF teams. Offensive is ARF team and an FSG, and defensive is an ARF team and an engineer team. So with the engineer team, we can essentially have defensive put down wherever we like, right? Yes, it'll help with some defenses and reasons. And then we can still get recon from an R team as well. Yes. So I believe we can use, what, mortars? Yeah, yeah we, we can, can soften, soften defenses. But we're going for mostly Republic fobs, so we I don't imagine we want to try and fucking destroy our own walls. Yeah, I stand by defensive. I think putting some defenses down on the actual landing zone and then getting some intel on um, 
uh, one of the missile batteries, I think, would be a good play. Or that um, Rebel Village. Especially if we're planning on using this central landing zone, because although it's a very good landing zone, it's very, very open, so some defences would be great. Well, so... I don't know if we would be able to use the missile. I mean, it's at the dongle, but I, I don't see. Because this landing zone, it's not... This isn't the objective. The landing zone consists of like two or three other objectives. When you clear those two or three objectives, then you clear the landing zone. Does that make sense? So this marker itself inherently is not like an objective. I don't know if that's making sense. Essentially, the marker represents the area we're going to land. That area is occupied. We need to clear out an area. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, I won't, uh, I'll go put intel in. So. I mean, the only thing I could say is, like, on one of these hills, we could probably see if we could do a Mystic Team to set up a little cob for uh, Shadow to come set up in, but even then, like... Could we do an intel to the landing zone to work out the other things that are around it? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we could use... I think we've done that before. We used uh, ARF to, like, scout the landing zones. Yeah, you did. But just so you, yeah, just so you guys know, like... This is just for, like, I don't think, we can't swap assets, like, whatever package we pick now, we pick for this entire region. So, even though Mystic might not be as useful for this one oh. week, it couldn't, probably would definitely be useful, I'd, I would say, setting up defenses and fortifying for the next so two or three offensive, weeks offensive, defensive, and intel, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. And if once we pick it now, it's going to be like that for the next, like, month or so. Two or three weeks, yeah. Yeah. So... Oh, we can't pick and choose as we... Week. Not per week, it's oh, per okay. region. Oh, that changes yeah. everything then. So, I'm guessing Intel is probably the best route. Yeah, I Because that might make yeah. things a little bit easier yeah. for us. I, yeah, I, I didn't agree. realize that we couldn't change it. Yeah. Okay, Mark uh, I agree. Teams. Um, before we move on to using that team, do you guys want to sort out times and reserves for us? Hmm. Oh, what's our cap? Is it for 400? Is that our cap? It is 300. Fantastic. Yeah. So who's gonna take the brunt of the forest? Probably these two forward yeah, occupying forces, like, huh? It's three hundred total, right? Like yep. cumulative. Okay. So each of like, us if we sorry. Oh, I was gonna say each of us divide it if we divide evenly, we would get seventy five reserves. Yeah, right. I was thinking like last time if we wanna cause like it looks like um the two lower ones are gonna have slightly well slightly easy is probably not the, the right term but slightly less insane terrain there so i feel like spirit and wraith will get the hardest brunt of that especially yeah, time missile batteries I'm, i'll like give tune is not really defensive or more just off it's really offensive mostly i'd sooner take like a skim off uh shadow and shade and give it to wraith and spirit because they've got the vanguard so i'll give uh i'll give uh my british friends over here 15 from shade Wow. Oh, big talking big money though. Yeah, Fifteen pesos. <laughs> <laughs> so I reckon a hundred for race and spirit. Motherfucker, you just got you just have ninety. I just gave you fifteen of mine. You can't, wait, you can't just you take it. Yeah, you can't take a hundred. Hold up. You gotta, you gotta chill out with that. Oh, you're you're at ninety Shadow right now. Gets Shadow gets twenty five, man. Alright. Do you want to try for a 40 challenge, Widow? I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm down. Oh, the only time we ever die is whenever the vultures show up. <laughs> Wait, so is that is that equals at 300? Oh, okay. Do you do you want five dead? Do you want five? I'll I'll, I'll drop down to 55 for you. I think I out here at the buffet trying to get everybody. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I'm taking a bite. You go eat. Well, oh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. no, 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 hold on. Wait, no, no, no. Hey, what I will say is, I kind of don't want to wild out on that LZ. Like, I want to ensure you guys get... I want to ensure you guys have enough reserves to get that LZ. Because if you guys don't secure that LZ this week, due to you guys running out of reserves or whatever, we have to wait another week to land the uh -huh. Aquamare. So... Give 10, you go 50 shade, 50 shadow. I think we can do it. I think, I think we can do 40. What was our casualty rate last? Our casualty rate last oh, time was yeah. 46. Yeah, we died I'd more than anyone else. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Look, that's what I'm saying. It's like, if what she is can this? give us 10, I feel like that 
be the little cushion in order to like ensure if we're good. Okay, what so, about no, what about if Wraith and Spirit go 95 each? I'll give you 5 and then me and Shadow will go both 55. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. Okay. Glad I'll hear moving bricks out here. <laughs> Tetris theme song. It does that add up because I can't. Kind yeah, of... that adds up. Yep. Okay, what, what about times? Who, who's getting the, the McDonald's breakfast this time? <laughs> Spirit will do 6 a.m. Right, Wait, we'll you guys gonna go that that deep in without uh, any. <laughs> Look, <laughs> like, I have the easiest real plane? life time. Why not have the hardest fake time? <laughs> I know uh, you don't like Night Ops, Widow, but I do kind of want to no go like... Ops. Yeah, you want to go Night Ops? I'll go Night Ops with you guys. Night no. I'll do, I'll do Night oh, Ops. Yeah. No, Legacy shit. Actually, I will tell there. you what, anyone that's planning on using artillery, the new the new like, tracer rounds on the artillery looks beautiful right. at night. You know what? I, I don't mind doing Night Ops. I've been kind of wanting to play a green tinted op for a while. <laughs> uh, Yeah, Shadow will go... We do like early morning to where it's like still dark out, like super early. Like morning. 6 a.m. That's then, the same uh, as I, was challenge. I was thinking like four or five. Like five. Damn. Uh, early. Just, you want to get that early? Don't look, just ask about planning all these times and what? stuff out. When we're saying like 6 a.m. and stuff, is that what we would expect 6 a.m. to be? Or on this planet, is 6 a.m. like the middle of the night? <laughs> Okay, We're operating off galactic standard. Uh, okay. This planet is very good with these time zones. Alright, so it's Earth like. Alright. We'll touch Earth. Oh, yeah, Never what heard of that. Yeah, uh, shit. What did you say? You're what do I told you to get off that spice? Please, please break the mold. I don't want no, to. I don't to smoke spice. That's death sticks. The fuck is wrong with you? There you go. We're going at 3:45 a.m. We are staying up. All, we're pulling it all nighter, gentlemen. Well, they sure I hate me. Am I right, right Levy? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that Waffle House. All so right. Long. So four. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I'm, I'm hey. By the time we get back with our operation, Waffle House is on charger. That's all so I gotta say. Gonna wrap up nicely here, and we can use our operations tonight. So where do you want to skydive? Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> LZ. And. Well, LZ anyway. Yeah. Alright, let, let me whip out my stats. Um, like I say, if you wanna get the D20. Uh huh. So, I got well, Legacy if you roll another one. Okay, what do you. Uh, D20. A medium dice roll, so it has to be higher than an 8 for a success. So we'll go ahead and roll up. Okay, it's it, it, wait. Higher, I got an eight. I don't know if that concludes. That's not higher than an eight. Okay. The <laughs> um, team rocked back up. They they came back after their scouting. Uh, they came up to you and say, "User disconnected it looks like a from your stuff. channel." You didn't get much out of it besides Thank the you bad guys cool. that were yeah. shooting at you. We got to have a tough challenge. User joined your channel. <laughs> I think that's the first time you guys have failed an arc roll, except for the no, it's not. Captured. It's rare though that we fail fail them. So what else do you want to spike? Oh, fine. Great. You got one more arc roll. Uh, what about... I was thinking going for a wraith I... missile battery just because it's I the furthest away that. from the acclimator. I mean, if they're like shielded or something, would be a good. Yeah, option. no end of the shields would be very useful. Yeah, I agree with that. So wraith's missile battery is the one on the west. Yeah. Yeah, and um, we're gonna do. Let me tab out again. I'm surprised I haven't crashed. We're gonna do a hard roll because they need to be right in that air zone, so it has to be higher than the 12 for success. Hey, Dad, can you blow on the dice real quick? <laughs> yeah, hold on. There you go. All right. That was in my ear. Good. Damn. Oh my <laughs> god! Fuck! <laughs> it's a six. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> can, can we get some more? <laughs> Oh my god. I'm here to take um, this man's dice wall away. Despite, <laughs> despite recommendations to take the arc speeders, the arc team wanted to be quick and they sent the lad in. Um, the lad got shot down, so you didn't get any recon at all. The arc team has limped back and ready for another recon. Okay. Yeah, they didn't get any. At least you didn't lose them. So. That's going in that, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, unless uh, I missed anything, I feel like not us for chapter four or four room. Ah, uh, done yet, no. I'm taking a screenshot, but I think that's all of us sorted, so unless there's uh, anything to add. Charger. What? Uh, did you see what time we're leaving? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like 3 a.m.? Yeah, we only have 55 reservists, too. Who the hell goes in an op at 3 a.m.? See, if if the droids don't expect us to come oh, at 3 a.m. Oh, boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, these times are happening IRO. We have to be there at 3.45. Alright. Um, but other than that, if is there any... Hold on, before I shut the thing down, do we have any other things need to be said? Probably not, no? Okay. Alright, well, uh, yeah, thanks for joining on the stream. We'll be back uh, next week. That's all.